for the takeaway. Should I be turning my upper body to get it back there, or should my upper body be staying towards the ball and then? No, I, I want I, I want you to feel like your left shoulder is left literally shoulder. initiating that move and pushing your hands back there. Okay. So if you look at this. You know, I don't need to break this down to where you are too thoughtful of it because you already do this naturally. Uh -huh. But a lot of players don't understand this, so I'm going to help, help them with this. We're not turning from here. We're turning from here and here. These two move. This stays flexed. And what's nice is that's a way of helping the feeling of my body is constantly turning, but it's building up. The turn's building up with my arms and hands and everything arriving together. A lot of people do what? They turn from here, and then everything kind of over rotates too early mm -hmm. and then the arms and hands have to lift to the top and the pressure's already back in the heel for half of the backswing. Whereas this helps it build. So right pocket, right shoulder, left shoulder, you know, those are all things that I feel slightly moving in my takeaway. The only reason it doesn't look like it's a huge turn is because that right knee stays solid and flexed. Flex, but yeah. as far as the upper body, yes, just your left shoulder, your chest should be moving that club back. Okay. I don't want to see this stay there and then this go like this, because look what would happen. If you did literally what you said, this would be at the ball, this right here would be behind it. wrapping behind you, and then even further behind you. It should stay right there nice and centered, okay? Oh, dude, that is just so pretty. Oh, I want our viewer to know, like these, you know, here's the thing, when your hand path Forget the, forget the club, is connected to your body's turn. That lead arm is where Wills is right on his shoulder plane. He can then rotate around his left side and look where the club comes back down with connection, right back on plane. Okay, if I have my hands lifted to the top and picked up, this thought does not work because now you're gonna be dead over the top as a result. And look at this, what do you guys notice about this guy's shirt? You see that? The head cover's not there, but he's got that thing tucked. Just show him what you do. Show him before it was... What do, you, what do you do? You just take a little just, pinch right there? Yeah, just throw it right under. He's been doing that, by the way, guys, the whole time. We haven't said anything about it. It's but a habit at this point. It's a habit at this point. People always ask me, like, how am I going to get that feeling of the head cover? I go, well, come on. Just give me a little something, not something under there. I used to go like this. It was my pre-shower routine. I used to go up. I would literally grab a pinch of the armpit. I'd just twist it to create a little ball. And I'd stick it under there so I could feel that under there. Yeah. And I used to just... I'd walk in with that right side just clamped in there. It's always helped me when I was young. I used to do that all the time at your age. Oh, dude, that was so much better right away. So much better. Felt good. Yeah. Check this out, guys. All right, look at this. Look at the transition. Coming down. Tell me if this is any better. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Look at that face control. It's the only way I'd ever give a player this advice. Have a great backswing first and then do it. It's not something that you want to do from a manipulative position where the hands and arms are floating at the top and then it does come straight over the top. Anytime you make a backswing change, guys, takeaway change especially, there's no reason not to give a little rehearsal move off the takeaway. It's a good swing, buddy. Let's get a longer club out. So ball, simple things, basics, right? So that our viewers can take away from this. All that changed, what you had a you had a nine before? You had a nine. And then now we have a seven? Uh this is six. Six. So what 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 do we do? We just widen the stance a little bit, ball position went a little forward. Yeah. Okay. So you widen the stance another inch or so. Ball position went from just ahead of middle to even another inch ahead of middle. Yeah. So what I look for is like stay right there. Like outsides of his shoulders, you know? Like see how that goes down kind of to the middle of his feet. Okay, and I was telling him he could be like even a half inch wider than that. There you go. That's perfect right there. Should be easier to get through. All right. I mean, that ball flight's perfect right there. Just got a little bit out in front of that one, but that's the first one in a little while that we actually had a, uh, a little, a little bit of a push. Yeah. That was just upper body and hands not quite synced up. Body got out in front. And what I mean by that for the viewer, the body, this first one hit, hit, hit bad and like a, at all. It didn't even hit bad, out of the center of the face, just outright. And that's just this. Arms are still working up, body's already going through. It's just like late in baseball, right field. Yep. Mm. Get the shot tracer out on that one, Kev. 
just knife that flag stick right there. <laughs> Let's take a quick break in the action to remind you that poor Zach Golf doesn't want you just playing your best, but wants you looking your best also. Which is why poor Zach Golf and Johnny O have teamed up to give you a 15% off discount code below. Let's get back to the action. Only thing I would tell you with the, with the uh, driver swing, make sure to complete your backswing, okay. and then make sure to feel the arms and hands left get ahead of you a little bit more. Does that make sense? Yeah. You do want to kind of get these back there, start transitioning, and you do leave them behind a little bit on those swings uh -huh. with the longer club. So just making sure you get the arms and hands moving with your transition, right? Okay. A lot of times for a better player, that feels like they get up there, there's a little bit of a pause, and the arms and hands are just a little bit faster on the way through impact. All right. Faster hands, catches up to the body, doesn't leave them behind. Oh yeah, there it is. What was the difference right there? That ball went out on line with the one yard draw. What was the difference there between the ones that, that started right and that one? Um, I really just focus on keeping my hand, arms in front of me, right? Because on the couple before, they were yep. just behind me. Now, what, what did you do in order to do that so the viewer knows what you felt in order to get your arms in front of you and not trailing behind you? For that one, I slowed down the lower body and I also felt like I was swinging more left, trying to hit the cut. So rather than this, guys, you know, kind of, it was this, like, more exactly. that feeling, exactly. To yep. not have this race out in front, but to have the arms get in front. Good, All nice right. job, buddy. Let's get another one like that. Oh, dude. That, that was, was absolutely crushed right there. Wish I could do that all the time. Yeah, do that, do that again. <laughs> and all the time. Yep. I feel like I'm standing a little too far from it. You know, I, feel like I'm kinda I was just talking with Mason about this. Put your arm, or I would say, not on the side, not in the very front, but kind of the midpoint of the two. Have the club in your, in your hands. Put your hand exactly where it would be with the right hand on the driver. Uh -huh. So not like up at the top where the right hand would be. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then just tilt forward with this connected. And the golf club will t let you know how, how far away you should be. Does that make sense? Yeah. You just come in here, tilt right over the balls of your feet. Boom. There it is. Okay. All right. Let's try it. That probably will be a hair closer than you were. Yeah. Because I feel like I have been standing pretty far away. See how this would kind of run right up, guys, kind of right here on his chest. I want to see him back up a little bit, get that ball a little bit more forward. See that there? Now that ball is going to run more at the armpit right there. Armpit shoulder in this range is where I want the ball position with the driver. Which is probably why the last one started a little bit right and stayed there. Didn't give the club enough time to catch up. Big difference, right? Huge difference. Huge difference. Yeah, so just the feeling of his arms and hands getting in front of his body, started that ball on line, didn't have that transition to where the arms are still going back, body gets out in front, and that's a common theme with a lot of people. They have the, the sequence of the swing gets off, right? The connection gets lost a little bit, even with a great swing like this. That's where the players miss it out to the right. Some of the best in the world do that often, not just sometimes. That's a typical miss. So mm -hmm. for you, more connection going back, everything getting back there together. Feeling, as you said, the lower body stable and the arms and hands really get ahead of you and around your body made a big difference, okay? But the overall theme of the day, getting the, butt, getting the club down the line of the feet when it's parallel to the ground, checkpoint one, not being too far out to where you then have to route it underneath, but you actually feel like you could hit a little cut from there, and that keeps you, the feeling of the cut keeps you on top of the plane and not dropping underneath, okay? All right. Awesome, bud. Sounds good. Hey, appreciate you, man. You did Thank a great you. job today. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.